Alright guys, so here we go. We are doing round two here. Quoth Gaming versus 8 to 6. 8 to 6 as aliens this time. Starting over in Atrium and in down in sub access, we're having Quoth Gaming as Marines. They're doing a three uh, I'm sorry, a one three one split. Whereas almost all of 8 to 6 is on Crossroads Glass Hallway side. With Lent and Ulti and Sammy G now fighting Mello and Flex as they're going back and forth underneath the catwalk. Nice little skirmish happening there with Quoth coming out on top. Mello does take down Sammy G at the end and he hides right underneath the catwalk. Relent and Ulti now left in crossroads knowing that he's under there trying to tag him but it's just not going to work out. Dangio from Quoth. Walking into data core, building up that power, and these two marines are going to go right into reactor core. So we are seeing now that most of 8 to 6 is responding to this. Ulti and Relent don't have a chance. They end up going down. Sammy G, the only one left in Pike Junction, he's going to back off and back up Dangio over in data core, where, wow, three 8 to 6 skulks are coming in there. Dangio better be careful. They are going to go ahead and engage. Let's get the look from Dangio as he tries to fight. He gets parasited! <laughs> oh, Lieutenant Kramer parasites Dangio. I wish I had a, uh, a sound bite for that. Ulti now taking down Lieutenant Kramer and Rain in Pipe Junction. Mello, the only one left. Looks like that Sis chain is coming through reactor core, down through glass hallway, and into data core. But it looks like Quoth Gaming, uh, Quoth Gaming's target is data core as well. So they may meet on this, and this may be just a contested area. So Dangio now back alive from that parasite kill, moving into pipe junction. Mello in that vent, checking him out, looking down the, looking down these, uh, this rampway here. He's going to sneak out, and here comes the rest of 8-6, to six, just cleaning up Quoth Gaming. There's an enzyme by one of the Drifters. Great job there. And that is going to really help with the speed that they kill these Marines. And Sammy G coming in a little bit too late. Can he take down Mello and DeWalter on his own? He does gun down Mello, and wow, nice shot there by Sammy from across the room. We're seeing Flex over in Computer Lab. <laughs> to Walter calling hacks. Um, we're seeing Flex over in Computer Lab, biting that RT, just giving a little bit of harassment there. Um, we have a drifter placement right there in Data Core, so they do know that Sammy G is in there. Rain is going to pounce and try to make his move not good there. He gets taken out. Ulti through Glass Hallway. Lieutenant Kramer just kind of sitting there, waiting to, uh, sitting in the vents as well. And these two are going to move into Reactor Core. Phase Tech has started, and Kramer is going to make his move. Sitting there right there. Another Marine is coming up behind him, if you can see on the minimap. There he goes. He's going to make his move. A little bit too late. Nice job. Nice clean up there by 8-6, to six, and Relent is now left in there in Reactor Core against Walter. He gets taken down as well. Two of Quotes Marines moving now into Crossroads. So, Dangio and Nippler... Building up crossroads, we're now, look at this, we're seeing the sys chain move into flight control. They know that the Marines are going data core slash crossroads side. So they are moving into flight control, moving the sys chain there, going to build up and and take that as a second base. We do see phase tech has been completed for quote, and armor one has been completed as well. So 8 to Mello just taking down that RT there. A big fight happening over in Data Core. Where Quoth is cleaning up Rain and Kramer. And there goes a Drifter just getting out of there at the last second. Flex on the Command ceiling. Station taking damage. And we're seeing now a nice little rush here by 8 to 6. Walter and Mello. Mine takes down Walter. And Mello is just biting around, just trying to be annoying. Taking, getting these Marines back. Court does spawn and gets taken down right away. And here comes all of Quoth converging onto this one Skulk. But that's really good play from 8 to 6. I mean, they are basically going to have to come back, deal with that, and get back on the field. Meanwhile, a phase gate has just been completed here in Crossroads. Dangio, Nippler, and Relent phase through. Nippler and Dangio go uh, west and Relent watching this doorway. 
They're going to move through Summit Reception and into Crevice where Mello is going to meet them. Alright, so we're seeing Mello underneath there. I see you guys just got to the Parasite kill. <laughs> um, so, Dangio Nippler just taking, trying to snipe down this Harvester. Mello trying to figure out if he should engage or not. He's kind of just under here. It looks like he's going to go try for the engagement. He does take down Dangio. Nice job, two health. Oh, it gets taken out right with a pistol to the back as he was trying to get away, and Nippler ends up getting spiked down. That was a great shot. I thought he was actually going to get away. All right, so during, while we were watching that, Phase Gate did pop up in Data Core along with an armory to put up a forward base. That's pretty good. Locks down that side of the map. And we're seeing Nippler now and Dangio in crossroads do have one lurk on the field and that's going to be Walter and both gets cleaned up there and here comes Quoth's response to eight to six we're talking 56 percent on this phase gate and they do end up cleaning eight to six they do hold crossroads and now here comes a quick counter attack Ulti, Sammy G, and Merlent moving in through Glass Hallway into Reactor Core. There's Rain in the vents, watching this unfold. He's not going to engage. I mean, if he engaged right now alone, that would be very unwise. Walter comes in as the Lurk, trying to take some spikes. There's Rain's going to pounce up against these Marines. Here comes the rest of 8-6 to six in this room. Relent does go down. Sammy goes down, and Ulti ends up going down. Weapons 1 has been completed. Shotguns are almost out, which is probably going to make this I mean, just probably going to change the game. As far as P res for 8 to 6, we're seeing 35 for Rain, 38 for Radical. I'm sorry, for Flex. Uh, 38 for Mellow, 35 for Kramer. So um, about 15 or so away from Fade. But if they can utilize these shotguns and gain some ground while the fades aren't on the field, that's going to work out really well for Quoth. And now flight control has been dropped. Very good job, Ego Gamer. I just looked over and you said sister eruption. Yeah, that happened in Reactor Core. That I rarely see that used as well. Sometimes I think it's Gorge Spit, um, and I get it confused. But there was no Gorge around there, so it was definitely um, a sister eruption. And we're seeing Nippler, Relent, and Dangio moving through into Summit Reception. There's a forward armory. All this happening now, let's see what's going on with Redscraft. Dead even with, um, you know, so far with kind of resource towers. Um, 291 to 217, which is not a very big lead for Marines to be over aliens. That is actually pretty close. Team kills 32 to 25 with Quoth Gaming coming a little ahead there. Seeing um, RT harassing happening in um, Computer Lab. That gets recycled. And two Marines coming from Data Core into Glass Hallway. Ulti and Sammy G. Moving into Reactor Core. They're going to try to snipe that down. Meanwhile, on the other side of the map, we're seeing Nippler, Dangio, uh, and Relent using this forward base. And they're going to try to hit Crevice, cut this Sys chain and try to cut 8-6 to six off this side of the map. They do have these shotguns. Weapons 1 has been completed. Welders has now been completed. And armor, an advanced armory has been completed now. Great job there for, quote, taking down all these life forms, which leaves that Crag and that Harvester. On the other side of the map, we're seeing Mello taking down this RT. And that gets recycled. And over back in Summit Reception still... Back and forth against, um, you know, against these life forms here. 88% grown on this hive. We see that um, the cyst chain has been cut, and because that hive's not going, um, it's not powering those cysts. Meanwhile, over in the main base, we're seeing Sammy and Ulti. They came in from Reactor Core. They're getting, trying to get the upgrades, the carapace shell. 38% on that. 20%. They might get the upgrades down. That is going to be a huge blow. There goes Carapace, 4-8 to 6. Ulti getting a nice shotgun blast there. Is he going to be able to take down Kramer? He does. Great job, Quoth. And this is a, going to be a very hard split there. We see Blink has started to be researched. 8-6 to six needs to get the fades on the field pronto.
They're very close. 45, 47, 48, 42. Four people really close to fades. They need to get them on there. But on if we're talking about Quoth, Quoth doing a really good job taking advantage of their shotguns and taking advantage that there are no fades on the field left. However, once they do get on the field, I really want to see what happens as it might tip to 8-6 to six favor. So we're now seeing over in Computer Lab, Armory going down by Flex. So that forward base is done. It's kind of sad that they set that up and they didn't, they kind of just let it go. It was a skirmish back and forth. No big life forms lost. There we go. Two fades on the field. Mello and Lieutenant Kramer. And that was a T-Rez fade, I want to say. Look at that. Oops. Pointed to the wrong guy. But anyways, Lieutenant Kramer, that was a T-Rez face. He's still sitting on 45 res. So if you can get a T-Rez fade out, that's really going to help out your team. Because if Lieutenant Kramer loses it, he can just go and get another one on the field really quickly. We've seen Ra uh, Flex has just turned fade as well. Uh, a a Rain is one away. So now we're going to see some changes of the game here. Fades up against... And Blink has just been completed. Oh, wow. 8-6 to six is now going to be sitting on some very powerful fades if they can play this right against level 1, uh, weapons 1, shotguns, armor 2, which is going to save them a little bit from the swipes, but still really powerful. Fades really powerful with that Blink. DeWalter in ventilation now. Doing... Uh, a little bit of RT harassing. We're seeing a big push. Three, four fades in crossroads. Just taking care of these Marines. Ulti now walking in. Let's kind of see what this looks like in Ulti's point of view. He's with that shotgun. Fades all over the place and gets his head taken off. And this phase gate is going down. Quoth might lose this. Oh, and we are seeing that Melo just takes down Nippler and Relent at the same time. Oh! And a fade goes down right there. Lieutenant Kramer does get lost as a fade, but he was the one that got dropped the T-Rex phase. And oh my god, another fade gets killed. Getting out of crossroads. Wow, Mello gets killed. Two fades dropped, and they didn't push them out of crossroads. That is going to hurt 8-6. to six. So much loss, but not a lot of gain. Quoth doing a great, fantastic job defending that, taking down two fades. And not a lot of loss. We're seeing a prototype lab has just uh, been built. And Rain as that fade. Trying to RT harass the computer uh, the computer lab harvester. Where Nippler and Dangio are in that doorway trying to figure out if they should push in or not. We do still have two fades on the field. Command station under attack. And Flex just takes down Ulti. And now, here we go, 8-6 to six on the main base. Looks like they're going for a rush. Here comes the beacon. 8%, 6%, and they get taken down. Now that would have been a heck of a huffing it if they lost that because they wouldn't have had a command chair there. They could have redropped one, but they would have had to run all the way to data core. All right, so we are looking now in crossroads. Rain coming in there, taking some pot shots. So we are looking now four of Quoth's Marines coming in to crossroads, phasing in, moving into computer lab. And joined by Nippler. Oh, they're gonna corner. They're gonna corner Mello. He gets taken out. Here comes. Nice job there by Quoth responding to that 20% on that phase gate. And now over in Crossroads, we're seeing another attack happening there by eight to six. Quoth now doing a good job. They do have jetpacks, and that is definitely gonna help them. Carapace shell has been completed again, and looks like they're just phasing around right now, just trying to get these offensive offensives off. And look, Sammy G and Nippler, they might pinch these fades. They got to get out of there, and they're going to chase them down into um, flight control. 
and it looks like they're just gonna float around this harvester that's gonna end up going down oh geez oh man there we go flex has died as a fade right to the north of flight control now these guys are definitely gonna be flying left and right oh my god another fade has gone down I believe that was in computer lab yep there it is so another fade just went down they are losing fades left and right quoth doing a great job controlling these fades Weapons 2 has been completed, which is going to make those shotguns just way more effective. These fades better be careful. One fade on the field. Walter is the only one left that's close enough at 42. And here we go, Ulti doing a little bit of resource harassing in Reactor Core. And over in Summit Reception, Sammy G does take down Flex. And this flight control is going to be really in jeopardy. Look at this, cutting down this entire area here in Reactor Core. Really good job, Quoth. And it looks like the power node is going to go up over there in Reactor Core. They may get a phase gate there and just recycle the one that's in Data Core. Because that will effectively close off this side of the map. Relent taking down DeWalter over in Crossroads. All right, so let's take a look at the resource map right now. We have uh, six resource stars lost by Quoth, while five lost to eight, uh, by eight to six. Team resources, 665 versus 488, uh, which is uh, a pretty, pretty good lead. 61 to 38, I mean, Quoth just dominating the engagements. I mean, we just saw a billion fades uh, die, so yeah, it's, it's pretty tough. Um, and Rain better be careful. He's up against two really good shot. Uh, Marines with level 2 shotguns. Armor 3 now going up. Meanwhile, over in Reactor Core, Ulti and Relent with shotguns and jetpacks coming now into Atrium. Eggs all over the place. They are going to target the economy of 8 to 6 and just completely take down this harvester so quickly. That goes down. They are down to two harvesters. They are res starving these, uh, these poor, poor aliens. 8 to 6 scrambling for defense. This is going to be really tough. There goes Carapace. Here comes Rain. And it looks like there's going to be... Oh! And the Observatory does get down. So it, Kramer does take down the Observatory. That's going to that's gonna cancel out. And Rain ends up going down there in Atrium against the... Right there. Against these shotgun uh, Marines. So even though the beacon... Uh, was canceled. They just used the phase eight, got through, got that threat away. There goes Carapace. This is going downhill. This is going downhill quickly for eight to six. I know they still have two highs, but looking at it from our point of view, eight to six is on the back of their heels. They are really losing this game at this point. 18 minutes in. They need to start getting on the offense. They are floating 44 T res, but they're sitting on one harvester. And Atrium Hive is 85% with most of everything around it destroyed. They have uh, about five eggs left in Atrium, 72%, and Relent and Ulti just completely hammering that. And here comes an Marine offensive. So, I mean, eight to six fighting on two fronts right now. This is definitely going to be tough. Sammy G taking down Rain. Da Walter falling to Danjo. There we go. Good game. Called by 8-6. to six. Quoth wins. They are out of there. 2-0. Quoth Gaming.